The odds you've been tested for coronavirus depend on a number of things, like whether you've had symptoms. But there's another factor, where you live. We were curious to see if testing rates vary by state. So we took the total number of tests performed in each state from the nonprofit COVID tracking project, divided that by state populations from the U.S. Census, threw all of that into a spreadsheet and found different testing rates depending on the state. Rhode Island has the highest rate of testing, almost 8% of the population getting tested. It's a small state with an aggressive strategy to test people without symptoms, a point of pride for the governor. When it comes to testing, we're doing three and a half times better than most of the rest of America. And so that should just give you some comfort. Hard hit New York also at the top for testing rates, along with North Dakota, Massachusetts and Louisiana. The White House says states should test 2% of its population each month. We found 20 states are not hitting that 2% target yet. The five states we found with the lowest test rates, Kansas, Arizona, Ohio, South Carolina, and Virginia, with the nation's lowest testing rate of 1.4%. Virginia's health department says the state's testing capacity is growing rapidly. Stanford infectious diseases professor Yvonne Maldonado says the different testing rates across the country point to a need for a coordinated national approach. I would just say it would be really nice if we had a broad-based testing strategy for the whole country. States are reopening despite far lower rates of testing experts say it'll take to safely lift lockdowns. Patrick Terpstra, Newsy, Washington.